What to do when you have been through trauma and you no longer feel a thing? What do you do when you've been through so much pain in your life? You've seen such terrible things in your childhood, at home, maybe even the death of someone you love, that you literally feel numb inside and you no longer feel a thing. Sometimes when we go through trauma in life, our bodies go through something that is called an anesthetic. Basically, the body protects itself from all of the traumatic experiences that it's going through. Maybe you've seen your parents arguing and it really traumatized you. Perhaps you were in a car accident that left you scared for your life. Maybe you saw someone in your own home be abused or maybe even die. Those memories, they remain in our bodies for a lifetime. And so what the body does at first is it protects itself by forgetting the experiences to protect the young man or woman from a lack of safety, from fear and panic and anger. And so then what happens is that we stuff all those emotions inside and they may come, they may come out eventually through addictions, through alcohol abuse, through relationships that aren't healthy, perhaps just simply by overworking or being numb to life. Are you feeling numb right now? Let me tell you a few things that you can do. First of all, I want you to know that God doesn't want you to be numb to joy. God wants you to live a life that you want to live once again. A life of purpose, a life of meaning and joy. You don't want to live this way. You might be really committed to your job and you're going to school Maybe you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend that you're really faithful to. You're doing all the right things to help your parents to work two, three jobs and to try to keep your head above water. You're taking it one day at a time, but inside you still have that emptiness, that trauma, that numbness. I want you to know that that is not forever. In due time, you're going to be able to tell God and life and your Future, all that you feel. Number two is don't be afraid of anger and frustration. One of the things that especially for those of us who grew up with respect for our parents, maybe respect for God or for religion, is that we avoid negative feelings. You want to be a good young man. You want to be respectful of others. And so you don't allow yourself to feel what's normal, which is called anger and frustration. The Bible says that anger is a normal part of being a human being. In fact, it says that in your anger, do not cross the line. It doesn't say don't feel angry. It just says, be careful to not cross the line. So I wanna just encourage you, feel that anger. Are you mad at God? Here's what you can do with that. You can say, God, I am frustrated and upset that my parents are going through this financial challenge. God, why are you allowing this? Don't you care? Don't you care? And you know what that does is two things. First, it lets you feel the emotion. And second, it allows you to give that frustration over to someone who can handle it and who, and who can take care of it. And then the third tip I wanna leave you with is live your life wholeheartedly. Live your life out loud. Go back to the things that you enjoy. Even if you don't feel it yet, move your mind and your body towards the things that you love. Were you into school before this happened? Go back to school. Were you into sports and athletics before this traumatic experience? Go back to playing those sports that you love. Were you into school and you were a great student and you were getting good grades before this horrible thing happened? You go back and finish high school 
or go to City College or go to that four-year university and get your bachelor's degree, your master's degree, your postgraduate degree. There is a purpose in your life. Live your life as if nothing had happened. Giving your pain to God, asking him for strength. And here's one quick way that you can ask God for strength. You can just simply say these words with me. God, I do not understand why you allowed this pain to happen, but I trust that you have a purpose in my life. Awake me, O God. Revive me, O Lord, that I may once again live the kind of life that I once had. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. I want you to say those words to yourself every time that you feel numb inside. Every time that you reach for that bottle or for that drug or for that addiction, every time that you default on your dreams and you give into laziness or procrastination, I want you to remember that simple prayer and to say, I am here for a reason. I am here to live out loud. I am here to fulfill my destiny. And I want you to focus on your destiny. Is your destiny to help your parents? Get back into that. Is your destiny to finish school and earn the pay that you deserve? Follow your dreams. No matter what trauma you've been through, there is healing for your life. God has a purpose for your life. Your trauma has a purpose, has a good purpose, has a good future. This story has a good ending. I want to just close with one of my favorite verses. It says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. There are plans to help you. There are plans to bring you a future, that to bring you a hope. They're not plans to harm you, but to bring you a future and a hope. And I want to just leave you with that. No matter what kind of trauma you've been through, God has a good plan for your life. He has a great purpose for your life. He wants to give you a future and a hope. Believe in Him. Put your trust in God. Give God access into your heart. Make room for God in your life. And He will heal you of all your emotional pain. Thank you so much for being here. Let's continue the conversation in the comments below. Let me know, here's a question for you. What kind of trauma have you seen in your life? And what has helped you to get through it? Leave me a comment below. My name is David Trigg, the Goso Man, here in Goso TV. Goso, by the way, means joy in Spanish. Leave me a comment below. Let's continue the conversation. I am here to help you in any way that I can. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you can get notified every time that I post videos on this channel. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you next time.